Welcome back to another episode of 40 Facts About the 40K Universe. I am your host, Gersh One, and you are watching One Mind Syndicate. Today, we're going to be talking about the lore behind the unspoken heroes of Warhammer 40K. I'm talking about the Servitors, the uh, basically the butlers of the entire Imperium, the people that... Um, aren't really people <laughs> well you'll learn more about it um once we start talking about it so let's get into 40 facts about the servitors a servitor is a mindless cybernetic drone created from the fusion of human flesh and robotic technology used to carry out simple manual tasks across the imperium of man servitors are generally mindless semi-organic robots possessing only the most basic of instincts though some are fully capable of speech if such functions and knowledge are programmed into them. While many servitors are genetically engineered vat-grown subhuman clones or replicas created by the Adeptus Mechanicus from human genomes who have their bionic implants installed after birth, others were once truly human. These servitors were usually criminals who did not follow imperial law, particularly a person who has offended or damaged the Adeptus Mechanicus in some fashion. These unfortunate criminals will be sentenced to servitude imperiatus by the arbitrators and judges of the Adeptus Arbitus and will be handed over to the Mechanicus Tech Priest to be mind-swiped, reprogrammed, and cybernetically enhanced to serve some specific rudimentary function. The altered and fragmented brains of a servitor functions poorly unless constantly supervised. Most will eventually go into a state of mind lock babbling incoherent nonsense as the servitors tries to assert some sort of control over its functions. Servitors are created by the Adeptus Mechanicus and supplied to departments of the Adeptus Terra such as the Administratum and the Inquisition, as well as other military organizations like the Imperial Guard and various Space Marine chapters. Servitors make up the vast bulk of the population of Mars and other forge worlds of the Mechanicus, where they fulfill the role of tireless workers, soldiers, and laborers. Servitors came to exist because of the fear instilled in the Imperium of artificial intelligence. During the Age of Strife, man was attacked by the very AI they created. They were called the Men of Iron. These Men of Iron were corrupted by chaos and in connection with terrible warp storms, ushered in the darkest time period in human history. Because of this, all future attempts to create artificial intelligence was seen as heretical and instead servitors were created to take the place of AI. Typical servitor types include technomats, which operate and service various machines, holomats, which act as holographic recording devices, lexomats, which serve as semi-organic computers with tremendous calculating power for recording and keeping data storage and drones, which are cybernetic robots, stupid and essentially mindless slaves ideal for menial work and little else. Servitors are often used to carry out the more dangerous or laborious duties in the Imperium, such as heavy mining in hostile planetary or asteroid conditions. They also accompany tech priest engine seers on the battlefield with the Imperial Guard, as well as space marine tech marines. These types aid in the repair of vehicles or sometimes carry large and dangerous weapons, such as a plasma cannon. For both forces, the Space Marines and the Imperial Guard, the Servitors are practically identical cybernetically, although the Servitors of the Space Marine chapter are created from the failed Astarte Initiates who were made largely brain dead as a result of their body's rejection of the implant Space Marine Gene Seed Organ before the transformation into cyborgs. However, becoming a Servitor allows them another opportunity to serve their chapter and the Emperor. Perhaps the most feared of all the Servitors are the Praetorian Servitors, a class of heavily armed and armored gun Servitors deployed by the Adeptus Mechanicus to guard the Tech Priest and the temples dedicated to the Machine God. For those heretics found guilty of heresies of insufficient severity to warrant immediate execution, there is another fate in store. Arcoflagellation An Arcoflagellant Servitor undergoes an extended program of surgical modifications, including muscle grafts, combat drug injections, and cybernetically implanted weaponry. At the same time, the subject's mind is reconditioned to turn him into a berserking killing machine who seeks only to destroy enemies of the Emperor. A battle servitor is a dedicated heavy combat servitor used for melee or ranged combat. 
Battle Servitors comprise a significant portion of the Adeptus Mechanicus' military force, but other patterns of Battle Servitors are used by many military organizations within the Imperium. Battle Servitors are much more robust and powerful military cyborgs than their combat Servitor counterparts. The Charon Pattern is a light Battle Servitor, humanoid in shape, found often in service of the Imperial Navy and numerous other star vessels are shock troops and defenders in boarding actions. They can be armed with heavy weapons, such as heavy bolters or heavy flamers, for void ship combat. Those found in the Coronis Expanse are often very old, their inorganic components having been recycled through numerous bodies and recovered from the fallen of the battlefield. As a result, they have a reputation for their machine spirit being unreliable in combat and not knowing friend from foe on occasions. This makes some void ship captains reluctant to employ them except in the direst of needs. A Catafron Battle Servitor is a type of heavy battle servitor used by the military forces of the Adeptus Mechanicus. Though they possess a once human brain like all servitors, the Catafron Battle Servitor has been severed from all emotion and independent thought and serves as little more than a living weapon controlled by the orders of the Mechanicus' tech priests. They are much larger and more powerful than the standard servitors employed for multiple tasks across the Imperium of Man. There are two variants of the Catafron Battle Servitor normally employed. Depending on the tactical objective of the controlling tech adepts, the Catafron Breacher and the Catafron Destroyer is used. Outfitted with a cluster of manipular arms, each tipped with various writing instruments, a calligraphist servitor is capable of copying practically any document they are given. They can also transcribe spoken word and are often used to preserve sermons and speeches as well as taking dictation of letters, orders, and regulations. Many high-ranking members of the Ordos of the Inquisition have at least one calligraphist servitor on hand, while large imperial monasteries and abbeys may have hundreds, usually engaged in replicating and preserving ancient texts. The Calyx Pattern Task Servitor is one of the most commonly seen pieces of technology in the Calyxian sector possessing thousands of variants and sub-patterns produced on forge worlds across the region. At its essence, the design is for a servitor utterly devoted to performing a single tactical task with utmost specialty. The engine seers attached to combat regiments are often granted the use of one of a number of sub-patterns of the Calyx Servitor especially designed for maintenance and repair of military equipment. The Cenobite Servitors assist the Chaplain of the Black Templar Space Marine Chapter in their holy duties. Marching in the shadow of the Chaplain, they are used to carry relics into battle, noting prayers of worship to the Emperor and bolstering the faith of nearby battle brothers. They often carry equipment, repair technology, and operate basic interfaces on Black Templar vessels and vehicles. They are considered a symbol of the chapter's faith, as a Black Templar's battle brother can gain the service of such a servitor as a symbol of status and trust from their peers. The rare and valuable Clippius class combat servitor is typically reserved for tech priests who have proven their worth in the Lathius. The Lathius Mechanicum maintains limited reserves of these servitors to assign as protectors to those attached to the Imperial Guard who have similarly proven themselves as assets to the effort of the war in the Spinward Front. The tech priest granted the protection of this servitor find no better guardian for their work on the battlefield, as the whole of the pattern's advanced construction is geared toward delivering lethal retribution upon would-be assailants. Although armed with a deadly Electro Gladius, its greatest value is the protective field generator that allows it to shrug off deadly blows again and again over the course of continued service. A various assault can briefly overwhelm the field, but few enemies survive long enough to exploit this vulnerability. Although most commonly deployed in mining colonies, the Lath Pattern Breacher Servitor also sees considerable combat use among sappers and siege regiments. The adamantium tipped drills replace its hands serve just as well in forcing entry to enemy strongholds as they do in unearthing ore deposits far from the front lines. Tech priests well versed in the rights of the servitor cognitator mechanisms sometimes find it appropriate to develop protocols for applying the drill to a smaller clash, allowing them to direct their piercing bite of the drill at a heavily armored enemy. By this means, a breacher servitor can be the bane of not only a fortress wall, but the elite troop guarding it.
Pugnus class combat servitors are commonly used as a combination of a bodyguard and a shock troop by the soldiers and auxiliaries of the Adeptus Mechanicus. Its robust frame is equipped with two massive servo fists that can pummel apart even the hardiest of enemies. Many tech priests placed on the front lines of battle owe their lives to the impressive strength of these servitors. The most martial inclined among the Red Priesthood sometimes gather groups of these servitors to assault an enemy position. Originally intended as a heavy duty utility servitor that could operate in hazardous conditions, the Spatha Pattern Servitor first gained notoriety during the ill fated Siege of Cyclopia. Home to a host of Imperial research stations manned only by servitors, three raider vessels entered the star system in the hopes of boarding and pillaging whatever they could before Imperial forces could respond. The fabricator that controlled the network of Cyclopean stations had no choice but to do the unthinkable and modify the Spatha Angram pattern so that he could repel the invaders. Astonishingly, the Spatha pattern servitor proved to be better at this task than his previous duty. Their heavy armor and mechanical attachments make them natural combat servitors. It took a further 50 standard years for the leaders of the Latha worlds to sanction the fabricator's variant design, a relatively short approval period by Mechanicus standards, but by then the notorious impatient man had taken the design and already left the Calic sector for greener pastures. In more recent years, Spatha pattern servitors have been pressed into service as bodyguards in some of the more remote areas of the worlds. Found mostly on research stations across the Latha worlds, as well as explorator vessels leaving the Calic sector for regions unknown, the Velux is an exceptionally fast and overly aggressive type of combat servitor programmed to track down and eliminate the would-be intruders. Tightly bundled coils of vagrone muscle give the servitor its incredible speed and dexterity, and its arms are each mounted as an integral coil whip, which the Velox tends to use in a frenzied spinning motion, pulverizing whatever happens to be in its way. Kept dormant when not in use, they are rightfully feared by friend and foe alike. Gun servitors are intended to provide fire support for a tech priest as he works and often they will have a whole limb replaced with cybernetically implanted weapons. Many will have ammunition hoppers mounted somewhere on their bodies so that they can lay down continuous currents of fire without needing to reload. The Incendio class gun servitor is a favorite of engineers assigned to the trenches of the Spinward Front, where a gout of burning Prometheum can turn the tide of battle. It mounts a flamer integrated in place of its right arm and stores the fuel in an armored compartment in the lower torso, a design that limits the vulnerability of such a volatile fuel source to enemy fire. When directed to the fore of a squad, the servitor can engage its flame to flush the enemy from cover or out of bunkers or simply roast them where they stand. And those were 40 facts about servitors. This does not even scratch the surface of how many types of servitors there are. There is still way more you can find on the wiki page. Jump on over, link is down in the description. If you don't want to wait, if you are okay with waiting and you like the way we read, I guess, if you like my chirping bird in the background, uh, then subscribe to the channel. We're gonna come out with part two pretty soon. If you guys have any suggestions for other topic ideas, please comment down below. Don't forget to put suggestion followed by that request and we will announce the winner of the um, giveaways, so all five giveaways um, on Friday. I wanna make sure to, or wait, hold on. No, the last giveaway was on Saturday, so Saturday we'll announce the, um, the winners just so that we give everybody an entire week to participate in the giveaway. Uh, Cause I know the very last one, which is the Primark, um, probably doesn't have as many comments. So if you haven't comment, uh, commented already and you want to win Gilliman and his two other buddies, uh, Cypher and I forget the Grey Knight, go over to um, the channel and uh, comment on that video. Uh, but with that said, guys, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and sharing. Don't forget to share this on Facebook, Twitter, and Facebook. It really helps us out. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. This was Gersh1 with One Mind Syndicate, signing out. Oh, <laughs>